Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'm very very excited because we will be unboxing my very first Unicorn Chanel So we're really excited guys na na-unbox ko na siya <laughs> Obviously, and of course I had to check it kasi but anyway, so yung bilis nito because sinip siya ng Monday and nandito na siya ng Thursday. Yun yung time na Monday kami dapat dilipad sa Palawan. Tapos Thursday ang balik namin. So kung nagkataon na walang naging aberya, sakto siguro pagdating ko eh. May ganito kong nakaabang. This one is a parcel from Japan. If you guys are familiar with pre-loved or vintage market of luxury, I think Japan is the place to be. <laughs> so anyway, ano ba unahin ko? Mag-unbox or mag-discuss sa inyo about vintage shopping? I guess, unahin na natin mag-unbox para may idea na kayo at makita nyo na kung ano ba ang aking first unicorn. And explain ko rin sa inyo kung bakit unicorn ang tawag. Kung hindi nyo pa alam, but if mahilig din kayo sa Chanel, you would already know why. So obviously, wala na yung Chanel box because it's a vintage piece. And discuss ko rin sa inyo later. But, tada! Sa dust bag pa lang ay vintage na vintage na ang dating yan. Here is the bag. Tapos inside, we have Sobrang bango nitong box. Hindi siya amoy luma, hindi amoy matanda, hindi amoy... Di ba yung mga vintage pieces yung may mga... Ano ang palabas yun? Yung may multo. <laughs> yun yung expect ko mag mga vintage pieces. Pero sobrang bango because I guess mayroong mga Chanel, bango, mga Chanel na pabango tester sa card. And then this one is from Patricia. It just says, Thank you for your Chanel purchase. Wear and enjoy it in good health. Lovely to have sold this bag to you. Patricia and Marvin of Vintage Classics. And certificate of authenticity from Zegos. Sinandi niya yung printed version, but before niya pinadala sa akin yung bag, sinandi niya yung PDF file no authenticity certificate. So, let's move on to the bag. And I'm so, so, so excited. So pretty one. Two, three. Oh my god. Can we please appreciate how beautiful this is? Just go. Ang ganda ganda. Ang ganda ganda. Yan nilalapit ko. How gorgeous. This is a 31 year old vintage Chanel flap. Oh. Ang ganda kini kini talaga ako. This particular model is called a Chanel Vintage Classic Single Flap Beige Lambskin with 24 karat gold hardware. Ayan, tingnan niyo yung hardware kung ano pa siya kaganda. Oh my gosh, this is 31 years old. Mas matanda pa sa mga kapatid ko. And it's so beautiful. Sobrang intact pa yung lock. Ang ganda. Ang ganda. Siyempre, nalagyan ko na ng mga young living airbags. <laughs> but anyway, this is how it looks like inside. And, ayan. Sobrang ganda pa ng loob, guys. I swear, this is so beautiful. Let me show you this hardware. Teka. Ayan. Ayan pa yung hardware, guys. Look. Look at that 24 karat gold. Shining, shimmering, splendid on you. Pocket inside with a zipper. And another pocket na walang zipper. Tapos dito wala na. Ayan. Siyempre may mga folds sa dyan. Parang tao lang din yan. Nagkaka-wrinkles pag tumatanda. Hindi <laughs> sila nakakapag-collagen like us. The lambskin leather has already flattened, but guys, wala siyang color transfer. Beige yung category niya, pero para sa akin, nung nakita ko kaya ako binili kasi it's just like a milk chocolate brown. Ayan, di ba? Just ko, sobrang ganda. And the shape is still there. Shape is there. And the hardware, walang tarnish, walang tarnish. There you go, it's so pretty. Ay, sakit lumuhod. <laughs> I'm 5'6". Ang sabi nga din sa akin ng seller, the vintage bags have shorter chains. 
How beautiful! Anyway, okay, tama na, tama na. <laughs> Let's just talk about what made me decide to buy vintage. Kung napanood niyo yung vlog ko when I bought the Oran, sabi ko na plano ko talaga bumili ng bag this year. Kasi hindi ako bumili ng bag last year. Pero meron talaga akong bag in mind. Hindi ko hindi ko na siya mabibili or bibilihin. <laughs> Of course, if I am given a chance, ang bibilin ko naman ay yung classic flap. However, hindi ko maaarok. Nakakamailo yung presyo ng brand new. <laughs> so, I just wanted mini square sana. Sobrang hirap niyang hanapin. Kung alam niyo lang kung gano'ng karaming resellers na yung napagtanungan ko and gano'ng kadaming friends and family all over the world <laughs> ang pinachekan ko sa mga Chanel stores. Meron namang isang beses na nagkaroon ng stock pero hindi ko alam, di yata talaga kaya ng puso at damdamin kung gumasas ng ganun kamahal. If you are not familiar with Chanel prices, they have hiked up four times ata during this pandemic. Ganong levels. G na G sila mag-hike up. I don't think I can ever, ever buy a brand new Chanel anymore unless talagang maging sobrang milyonaryo ako na disposable yung pera. So parang tinanggap ko na yung tadhana ko na okay nang twice ako nakabili sa boutique. My very first one is a chic na lambskin na beige. No, hindi pa masyadong mahal ang Chanel. I kwento ko na yun yun sa isa kong vlog. I'll just put the link here. Hindi nyo napanood yung vlog na yun. Binenta ko yun for the reason na ang syunga-syunga ako kasi yung first <laughs> Chanel bag. Tapos lambskin. Tapos beige pa. Anong iniisip ko, girl? I think na baboy ko lang Siya. Yun na yung first and last Chanel flap ko and I don't think I can ever buy na pala. And then the next one that I still have until now, my wallet on chain na caviar na black. Moving on, yun yung isang reason bakit nag-decide na ako to go to the pre-loved or the vintage market. Actually, matagal na panahon ko nang gusto ng vintage Chanel's because the hardwares of the vintage Chanel bags are real 24K gold-plated. If I'm not mistaken, yung mga Chanel bags na produced 2008 onwards, hindi na real gold ang mga hardware. 1986 until 2008 yata. If my memory serves me right, it's considered vintage kapag 20 years old and above na yung bag. Mga beyond that, tawag sa kanya pre-loved. Ang goal ko talaga in life is to be able to go to Japan for a vacation and have the extra money to go shopping vintage. Kasi ang dami talaga ang vintage stores sa Japan. Kaso, alam naman nating lahat kung gano'ng kamahal ang trip to Japan. Yung mga flights pa lang, hotels, food, mahal talaga. So, talagang pag-iipunan mo ang pupunta ng Japan. So, on top of that, kailangan ko pang ipunin yung additional pocket money na gagamitin ko kasi gusto ko nga mag-shopping doon. Kaya yun talaga yung isa sa mga goals ko. Kahit na gusto, gusto kong pasukin ang pre-loved market ng Chanel, wala akong masyadong access dito sa Philippines. May mga binili na yun ako mga vintage pieces na other brands, mostly Louis Vuitton, YSL, yan yung mga na easy access dito sa consignment na stores. Kakahanap ko talaga, kaka-obsess ko with the 21P na tan caramel Chanel's. Kaka-browse ko, kaka-research ko online sa Instagram. I finally found sina Patricia. And also, I am in the Facebook page of Chanel Trading Keme. Nakita ko, she's Filipino. Ang gaganda ng mga reviews niya. Ayun, sinerge ko. Although, yung kanyang Instagram, hindi masyadong updated. Hindi maraming followers, hindi pa maraming post. Pero, if you can see yung mga reviews sa kanya or yung mga comments sa kanya ng mga tao dun sa trading page sa Facebook. From all over the world, iba-ibang lahi, mga foreigners nga mostly, they speak highly of her and her stocks. Kaya, nagtiwala ako sa kanya. Sabi ko nga sa kanya, I'm gonna pay PayPal, but doon ako sa friends and family. Sa PayPal kasi, may two options kayo. You can choose the option of friends and family, tapos merong goods or services. Pero mas mataas yung fee niya. But, may guarantee ka na safe ka, hindi ka masascam, hindi ka mabubudol, ganyan. Pagka naman friends and family, based on the name itself, you're sending to friends and family nga. Mababa lang yung fee. Pero wala kang hahabulan kapag na-scam ka, ganyan. Huwag niyo akong gagayahin. Kasi nga mahal na yung babayaran kong bag. Ayaw ka na magbayad ng extra for the fee. Although, mas suggested naman yun for your safety as well. But, yun nga ako, pinili ko yung friends and family na sinend ko kay Patricia. Sabi ko sa kanya, I will trust my God. And dahil nga nakita ko na ang gaganda ng mga reviews niya doon sa page, nagtiwala ako. Just to find out na taga dito lang din siya sa amin. Sobrang lapit lang niya sa amin. She's really, really nice. And I'm so happy 
I found her. Sabi ko sa kanya, I will finally build my Chanel unicorn pieces with her. Sobrang lapit pa. So, sakaling mabudol niya ako, nandiyan lang mami niya sa malapit. Char! <laughs> anyway, may mga certain unicorns sa Chanel world. Kaya I kept saying unicorns. Kasi yun yung mga hindi na pinoproduce nowadays. Mahirap siyang hanapin kahit sa vintage market. Yung mga ganyan. So, I have decided to build my Chanel unicorn collection. And I'm so happy na nandiyan si Patricia. I will really work hard for it habang wala pa akong baby. Alam nyo, ever since talaga na nahilig ako sa luxury pieces, sa Chanel talaga ako napapaibig. But ang wallet ko, hindi siya kayang ibigin. <laughs> Mahal talaga. Pero yung style ko talaga, and everything else is sa Chanel talaga naglilin towards after Louis Vuitton. It's maybe because it's Coco Chanel and I'm Coco. <laughs> If you guys are interested in going also sa vintage world of Chanel's, these are just some few tips or some few things that you might want to know. Ito yung mga nilista ko and at the same time, tinanong ko rin si Patricia. So same kami ng mga nailista. Ito talaga yung reason why you should consider getting a vintage Chanel. Unang-una, the craftsmanship talaga in general is way better. Hence, it can stand the test of time. So, tingnan nyo naman, o, oh, diba? 31 years old na. And I'm sure na ipangharabas na rin to ng dating owner, but it still looks so beautiful. Second, kasi maraming may gusto ng lab skin because it's so um, buttery, it's so elegant and luxurious looking. Pero yun nga, yung mga lab skin ng mga brand new, sobra talaga nilang mga delicate, nakakatakot. Pero yung mga lab skin, nung unang panahon, nung mga vintage pieces, mas durable talaga sila and heavy duty. Tapos, of course, yung kanina ko pang sinasabi, the hardware is 24K gold. And at the same time, the price point. Mas maganda talaga siya rather than spending sa mga brand new. Ako personally, I would suggest na at least once in your life, mag-invest kayo sa brand new just for the sake of the experience of buying in the boutique and unboxing a brand new Chanel bag ibang level talaga yung kilig ng ganon, ganyan. Which leads me to this next advice that the reality of buying or shopping vintage or pre-loved Chanel is that the accessories might have disintegrated or nawala na siya over time. So imagine this is 31 years old na. So baka yung may ari na ito, hindi, hindi niya na naitabi yung mga accessories niya. Ito, wala na tong card, but at least $40 din yung pagpapa-authenticate ha. So they offer the authentication as well for your peace of mind. May mga tao kasi talaga na hindi sila nagtatabi. I think tayo mga Pilipino lang ang mahihilig magtabi ng mga boxes. Ako personally nakatabi lahat ng boxes, ng mga paper bags, ng cards, because mahilig nga ako mag-buy and sell pag nagsasawa ako. So, mas mataas kasi yung value kapag kompleto pa yung accessories. But then again, ayun nga, ako personally, ang dilemma ko, may mga nakikita akong bags. Kagaya nito, in love na in love ako na nakita ko, pero bag lang. But the hologram sticker inside is still intact, ha? So, sobrang good thing din yun. Kasi yung iba, sira na nga yung hologram sticker, tapos wala pa yung card. So, at least sana sa dalawa meron, di ba? Sobra ako na-in love dito, pero bag lang siya. Wala siyang any thing included. Compared to may mga nakita ko na ganda pa rin naman. Hindi ako sobrang, alam mo yung dito ako na-in love talaga, pero nalilina ko towards the other bag just because may box. Meron siyang card, dust bag. Huwag tayong mag-focus dun sa accessories. What actually matters is the bag itself. Kasi at the end of the day, hindi nyo naman gagamitin yung mga accessories. <laughs> Di ba? Kung meron kayo makita na bags na in love kayo na may accessories, edi sobrang steel yon. But if kailangan nyo mamili between two bags na yung isa, sobrang na-in love ka with the color and everything kagaya nito, ito nga talaga yung color na kinai-inloven ko lately. Kaya ako na in love sa kanya. Pero wala siyang inclusions. Tapos yung isa black, pero complete inclusions. Kaya parang I was leaning towards getting the black just because of the accessories. But buti na nga lang, I still went for the bag that I really fell in love with. Sometimes kasi if we're focusing on the accessories and everything, na-overlook natin yung bag itself. Ayun, yun lang yung mga advice ko. And also, if you are a classic girl like me, yung iba kasi medyo mas trendy talaga yung style nila sa life. Pero pagka ikaw yung more on the classier side, dun ko talaga masasuggest na go on the vintage market. Because yung mga vintage pieces talaga, grabe, grabe yung pagka-timeless. Alam mo yung, yung sinasabi na old, rich, and timeless look. Dun mo talaga siya mahahanap and makukuha sa mga classic pieces ng Chanel. 
Ayan. But if you are more on the trendier side, then bagay na bagay ka dun sa mga bagong nire-release na pieces ni Chanel. This is why I went and decided to invest on a classic Chanel. Sabihin ko ba yung price? Hindi ko sinabi. Kaso baka mamaya magko-comment-comment na naman kayo na nakalimutan <laughs> kung sabihin. Kasi nasanay na kayo na gusto nyo yung sinasabi ko yung presyo, di ba? The medium classic flap nowadays in the brand new market will be approximately 380 to 400,000 na ata. Ganun na guys. And this one, I got it for 130,000 without any inclusions. Sometimes nga, yung mga may inclusions, yan, medyo mas mapapamahal kayo. And kung may nakuha kayong caviar, you would pay at least mga 200, 180. Kaya, pagka meron kayo nakita na sobrang ganda naman nung mismong piece, kahit walang inclusions, tas maganda yung price point, go grab it na. I would really, really like to thank Patricia of Vintage Classics for being so comfortable to talk to and to deal with. Kaya, naging very smooth ang transaction ng aking very, very first unicorn purchase. Yes! Currently looking to get a Diana piece in black or in red. Next, pag-iipunan ko yan ng bonggang-bongga. I think magbibenta ako ng some of my other bags kasi gusto ko mag-focus in collecting the unicorns of Chanel. So, so, so happy with this purchase. I hope you don't find it in any way bragging. Gusto ko lang i-share sa inyo kasi sobrang ganda niya talaga. And if nagdidream talaga kayo ng Chanel bag, why not consider checking the pre-loved market as well? Anyway, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give this a thumbs up. Please subscribe and click the bell button para updated kayo sa aking mga next videos. I will see you on my next one. Bye!